What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to align an image to the right in the email body of a message sent from Excel. So let's get into it. All right, so on the left, I've got my VBA editor. On the right, I've got a table here with countries and file paths for their uh, images, for their flags. So let's create a drop down. We're gonna go to data and then data validation allow list and then our source is going to be from a2 to a6 enter okay so now we've got our drop down and then as far as grabbing um, the respective file paths we're going to go ahead and use an index match so you're going to do equals index and we're going to want to pull from this column and you're going to hit comma match and you're going to match against this cell and you're going to match this cell against oops I messed up I'm sorry so what we're going to do is we want to pull from this column column B from B2 to B6 and we're going to match A9 against A2 to A6 so comma and then zero or you could put false there it just means you want an exact match close close got it okay so now whenever we change um, the country the cell B9 will, will change as well alright so well for our sub let's go ahead and get that going so our sub is going to be let's call it align image to write in email alright and we'll declare variables. We'll do out app as object, out mail as object, str body one as a string, str body two as a string. These are just gonna be the bodies of our email. Um, and then we're also gonna have two more strings. We're gonna have a PNG string just to represent the file paths and then we're gonna have uh, a line as a string alright so let's set out app equal to create object and it's gonna be outlook we want the outlook application And we're going to set out mail equal to out app. And we're going to do create item zero. All right, so now PNG is just going to be this workbook sheets. We're pulling from this sheet, and it's called sheet two. So sheet two. And we want cells down nine over two, so nine two. And we want the text in that cell. And then align, we're gonna set this equal to text align right. And there's gonna be a semicolon and a quotation. And you'll see why we made it a variable later on. So now we're going to have str body one. And what we're going to do is set our body style. So we want our font size. Let's make it 16. Font family. Let's make it Arial. And then I want to continue this line of code, right? So let's do an ampersand and an underscore and go to the next line and we're just going to say hello everyone Jeez. paragraph break please see image below another paragraph break 
and then our next string body so str body 2 let's have a paragraph break there we're gonna do thank you comma a regular line break and then Greg okay so then on error resume next and then without mail we're gonna send this to let's make up something ABC at 123.com and we're gonna CC no one BCC no one the subject let's go with today's image and then we'll, inc we'll include today's date so we're going to do format date and then the format we're going to use is month month day day year 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 and then we can do send or we can do display um, we'll choose so we'll select display so we'll comment the send out but send just lets the email go automatically out it sends automatically um, with display you get to see the email first and you can go ahead and send it out if you choose to so we'll hit display just so we can see it before it gets sent out and now we'll do HTML body equals str body one we're gonna do an ampersand and now we're gonna do bracket div style equals and now we're going to need character 34 which is um a, it's a quotation in html and now we're going to use our align variable up here so align another ampersand another character 34 and then another ampersand and an underscore to continue the line and we're going to say now we want to do a close bracket open bracket IMG SRC this is where our image comes into play so we're gonna need another character 34 and now we're going to reference PNG which is our po file path to our picture so PNG ampersand character 34 and then we're going to do another ampersand underscore to continue this line and now this is where we're going to set the width and height so these pictures are actually kind of big so let's go ahead and make the width 50 percent and we'll make the height 50 percent as well and then we're going to have a open bracket and we're going to close our style right here the div we're going to this forward slash will will end it so now we'll do an ampersand and underscore again and then the next line is just going to be our str body 2 and we'll close it out with dot html body Okay, so now we can end our with on error, go to zero, and then we're going to set out mail equal to nothing, and we're going to set out app equal to nothing. And that should do it. Let's go ahead, pick another picture. Okay, you see that the picture is right aligned. So I've got today's image with today's date. Going to ABC at 123.com. Hello everyone, please see image below. And then you can see the paragraph breaks, how there's like they're like double space, but then the regular break, you see like uh here with the BR is just one space, one line going down. Um so let's try this again. Change the flag up. And 
you see it's right aligned. So now we could change this to left if we wanted to. We could also change it to center. See that? We can change the flags. We can change the size of the flags. Let's make it 25, 25 this time. So we should be centered. See that? Let's go back to the left. And then the purpose of this video, let's go back to the right. So yeah, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.